you have probably heard people talk about satellites or even read about them they talk of satellite tv satellite waves and so on so what is a satellite and what function do they serve a satellite is any celestial body that revolves around another one planets are satellites of the sun the moon is a natural satellite of the earth we do have artificial satellites revolving around the earth there are very many satellites around the earth which serve different functions before we study the use of satellites we need to know a few facts about satellites there are basically two types of satellites geostationary satellites and polar satellites in this lesson we will study geostationary satellites the simulation shows a satellite revolving around the earth we observe that the path is circular like that so since it is moving in a circular path then centripetal force must be provided to make it move this way the gravitational pull on the satellite by the earth provides the centripetal force the equation for centripetal force is mass of the satellite this small satellite here has got mass m the earth has mass capital m and the radius of this orbit is r like that the earth we might need this radius has got radius let's call it capital r so the centripetal force is given by m r omega squared where r is the radius of the orbit or the radius of the circle omega is the angular velocity of the satellite where m is the mass of the satellite so you have already said that uh, the centripetal force which is given by this is provided by the gravitational pull on the satellite by the earth and gravitational force on the satellite by the earth is given by this equation gmm over r squared capital m is the mass of the earth while g is a constant these m's cancel out on both sides of the equation to get rid of this denominator here we can multiply both sides by r squared so if we multiply this side by r squared r squared we also do the other side the same way like that we'll find that this r squared will cancel out from this side r squared plus r is equal to r cubed so r cubed mega squared r cubed is equals to gm next we divide by omega squared because remember we want to make r the subject so divide by omega squared both sides and we remain with r cubed so r cubed is going to be equal to gm over omega squared and we want to make r the subject get the cube root both sides of the equation there is a small three there and r so on this other side is the cube root of gm over omega squared so remember our aim is to get the radius of this orbit the radius of this orbit now 
uh, we realize that for us to do that we need the value of omega omega is the angular velocity of the satellite how do we get this we go back to the information about a geostationary satellite we've been told that a geostationary or satellite has a periodic time of 24 hours which is of course is equal to 24 times 3600 seconds seconds that is the periodic time of the satellite and we know the relationship between omega and periodic time omega is equals to 2 pi over the periodic time like that so we are going to substitute into this equation after we get the value of omega we can now put the value of omega into this other equation to get the value of r so let's first of all get the value of omega we create some more space let's just erase this stuff create some more space here now we want to get the value of uh, omega which we have said it's 2 pi over the periodic time which is um, 24 times 3600 that one if you use a calculator it's going to give you 7.2722 by 10 raised to minus 5 radians per second radians per second that's the value of omega and now after we have gotten the value of omega we want to get the value of the radius of this geostationary orbit and the equation was r is equals to cube root of gm over omega squared so let's substitute here cube root it's going to be a very long sign like that the value of capital G is 6.67 by 10 raised to minus 11 while the mass of the earth is 6.0 by 10 raised to power 24 and we have just worked out the value of omega which is 7.27 by 10 raised to minus 5 and all this is squared so you work out this value first divide by this get the answer and then find the cube root of that answer if you use your calculator correctly should give you 4.23 by 10 raised to power 7 meters this is how far this satellite is from the center of the earth from the center of the earth all the way to that height that's the value of r but we know from the center of the earth to the surface of the earth which is actually the radius of the earth is 6 by 10 raised to power 6 meters uh, if we express this one to the same power of 7 we get 0 0.6 by 10 raised to power 7 meters that means we can work out how high the satellite is from the surface of the earth which is this small h here so h is going to be equal to 
the radius of the geostationary orbit minus the radius of the earth like that because the two numbers have got the same power all i need is just find the difference between these two 4.23 minus 0 0.6 all this by 10 raised to power 7 and the answer to this 3.63 3.63 by 10 raised to power 7 meters meters sorry the space of my camera is very small so let's just write these meters somewhere around here meters so that is how we would work this one out so remember the main points are the examiner expects that if the word geostationary is mentioned then the idea of periodic time comes into mind periodic time helps you to calculate omega omega helps you to calculate r that kind of thinking is expected in this kind of question